That sun feels good, don't it, girl? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Moody this, but we're going to go get him a buddy. We're fixing to go get a baby calf. We got the trailer loaded up, and we had a welder come by and beef up our trailer. He's, uh, there's some a lot of cosmetic stuff that needs to be done on him. We're going to worry about that the first year, but he did get a lot of welding done. He's beefed up, so it's safe for us to haul anything in it. Just don't look pretty, but we're going to get all that fixed. And so we are fixing to ride over to our friend Christine's house and go pick up this baby calf. It's gonna be something else today. I got a feeling, gonna be something else. Gonna be a good day. Moody, I'm gonna have you a little surprise. Yeah, we'll tell you about it later. It's hush hush, it's your Christmas present. He deserves a Christmas he present. He deserves a Christmas present. Ugh. He might have to wait till Easter uh, to get his present. Yeah, he, you're probably right, but he's getting his Christmas present. It'll at least be here. We are in the truck headed over to a friend of ours who is a cattle farmer. And long story short, we have been debating on getting Moody a buddy because we want to move Moody into that way bigger pasture area. And so we thought about the goats, but then we worried about the goats breeding through the fence with the females. And anyway, long story short, we decided to get Moody another cow. <laughs> now, bovine rules. Bovine rules. So this is a cow. A calf. I a guess. calf. It is a calf. It is being bottle fed. Because she was an orphan calf. Yes. And that means that the mama wouldn't feed her. And when that happens, then it's the responsibility of the cattle farmer to take over and give her milk or give it milk in order to provide the nutrition that it needs. Right. It won't survive without mother's milk or supplemental milk. So we had a friend of ours who acquired this calf from another cattle farmer. <laughs> and we don't know the whole story, but it's been told to us there's a possibility that this cattle farmer didn't want to take the time to bottle feed this baby and gave it to another cattle farmer and so she's fell in love with it actually has stayed in the house some i hope her husband don't watch this video well he knows oh he does know it's his man cave and she <laughs> said that she promised her husband that she wouldn't bring any more calves in the man cave and i have a feeling she told a story but that's what she told him so this one's going out of the main cave she's already outside uh -huh. but she won't be um in the quarter mile turn right turn right she won't be in the doghouse anymore for bringing this cow in the man cave <laughs> she's kind of known as a rescuer i guess you would say yeah. She rescues horses. She's just an animal lover. She's an animal lover. She's not going to deny anything that needs attention. And he, the, the cattle farmer knew that. So that's how she ended up with the cow. And so she knows we're animal lovers and we've been friends for years. And <laughs> she reached out to Brooke because I think Brooke <laughs> This had, is what happened. I tagged you. Oh, you tagged me in a cow. I post. tagged you in a post that I saw and she saw it and she said why are you tagging Jason in a cat in a calf post when you know I have bottle babies <laughs> and I didn't know she had bottle we babies. Didn't know she had bottle babies. So we're on our way to go get this calf which is a what kind of cow? Charolais. Charolais slash Angus Angus slash Hereford. I, th I think we're not cow cattle people or cow people, so I think we said all that right. But that is what she is. She's a mix between those three. I haven't seen any pictures. Not we, that it matters to me what. That's right. We have been told that she is solid white. Uh, we plan on putting her in with the girl goats, which y'all know that Top and Tip are over there now, and they're not gonna bother because she's because she's gonna be bigger than they are. I'm pretty sure. I think so. <laughs> I don't know, but you know, Moody's size was deceiving. So yeah, Moody's size was deceiving. And our plan is when she gets big enough that she can go, and her and Moody can go into a that large pasture on the backside of all our other paddocks. And then they can be one big happily bovine family over there. And if we want to move Tip over there, we can move Tip That's over right. there too. 
but a lot of people said well if you move the cows over there on that side pasture they won't get enough attention yes they will because oh, yeah. <laughs> when our house is built and we come out of our front door they'll be the first pasture we see yeah pretty much the first pasture see and when we build our barn it'll be on it'll that be side. in that pasture that's right so but this is all new to us um as far as bottle feeding a cow right, we've right. bottle fed goats before I think the hard part's over, and that's getting her to this point, which right. is about six weeks old. Right. Um, so we're going to continue this one bottle a day. She is on grain already. She's eating hay. So that leads me to believe that the hard part's over. We shall see. We shall see. Mary Carl, are you up for this undertaking? Yes. <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> yes. We did bottle feed Henry and Herbie. They did bottle feed Henry. We do plan on in the new past area is building a, uh, a, a shelter for both. And we do plan on putting a big scratching post in and we're probably gonna do all that soon. We'll get started on it fairly, fairly, fairly soon. Yeah. Um, it's gonna be a lot to fence off. Uh, it is. And, uh, and, uh, but we'll, we'll figure it all out. We will. We'll get a handle. We'll get a handle. That's right. We are here. I don't know how many acres they got, but they got a pretty big place. They do have a big place. And this is where we got our emu eggs from that time. It is. Same farm. I see a little one over there laying down. That's right. See you? Mm hmm. See her? She's a sweet of little cow. I'm glad that. She is tiny. She is tiny. And she's big. She's big though now. Oh, Y'all are seeing her when she's first time. She is tiny. Hey. Look at her white eyelashes. It's very unusual for her to get a heifer. What, this white? No, just to get a heifer. It oh, this bottom. Okay. Usually a... You think let her have about half of it? A bull cat. Yeah, she's going to follow you anywhere now. Okay. Now, do you think that I should can give her some? Mm -hmm. Put her on sweet feed now. Um, you can give her sweet feed. Now she's not going to eat it like the, the bull does, or like okay. a little uh -huh. steer. Uh -huh. Um, she's going to nibble around with it, but I mean, she's not just. She's We're feeding eat. him. She really needs to be fed two times a day. Okay. But bottle fed two times a day. She really does okay. to grow out like she needs to grow okay. out. Okay. She's eating hay good. So she's growing good. You feed her in the evening now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But it'd be but okay if we. Early. She had two bottles. Yeah. Like, you um, let her follow us around over there. Uh, yeah, she'll yeah, walk along. So we got her loaded up and we are headed back to Cock Hill. She is teeny tiny and super cute. Teeny tiny. Way smaller than what I thought. Way yeah. smaller. She um She's about Bo Peep size. <laughs> Wouldn't y'all say? <laughs> mm -hmm. She's taller than Bo Peep. You think? Yeah. Where y'all think back up to it? Or you think just right here is fine? I think just right here is good. To be honest with you. I can pick her up. You think? Yeah. I'll pick her up. Moody, we got your buddy. Except we're not going to put her in there with you just yet, man. We're going to wait till she gets a little bit bigger. Don't you think? I think so. Hey, pretty girl. Hey, pretty girl. Yeah. Mildred. Mildred? That's what we we decided. We're gonna name her Mildred. 
Mildred, Moody, and Mildred. I've never seen a chicken before in my life. Look at them chickens. Look at the goats. Nugget, you gonna go check out Mildred? Hmm? She'll get settled in. She got goats. Oh, Moody. Moody is talking. Y'all are just ridiculous. They are ridiculous. Their tongues sticking out at each other. Moody, go see about Mildred. Yeah, go see about her. You go go see about her? Yeah. <laughs> the goats and all their crazy sounds. And Moody and his crazy sound. Yeah. <laughs> they are making all kind of crazy noises over here. Yes, they are. <laughs> so funny. These are our Christmas songs. <laughs> the Christmas carolers of Cock Hill. The Christmas carolers of Cock Hill singing Jingle Bells. <laughs> girl I see you eating some grass but I was gonna let you know that Mildred's gonna stay in here with y'all for a little bit you know until she gets used to things and I know you the boss lady and you'll show her the ropes and tell her everything she needs to know about the farm yeah I hear Tucker behind me Peaches what are you doing? Peaches says she eating a little grass are you just trying to show Mildred what she needs to do? She eating a little grass Oh, here they come. <laughs> hey, Tookie, Tookie, Tookie. Have you seen her yet, Peachy? No, Peachy says she worried about this grass eating. Peachy, you never ate grass at the old farm. She did never ate a drop of grass at the other place. Have you been naughty or nice this year? I think she's been naughty. Peaches has been naughty? Yeah. Peaches, don't listen to that. We know better. Hey, buddy. We got your new BFF over there. Yeah. She's a little shy right now. She is. I think in a few days she'll start coming around, especially once she realizes we're going to be the ones that's bottle feeding her. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Hey, we got to be quiet, okay? Because bears are, bears are asleep right there. <laughs> He's sleeping hard, ain't he, Moo? He's sleeping hard, ain't he? Watch how excited he gets when I got to feed. Watch it. <laughs> Come on, goofball. Yeah.
see. Mildred's getting a little more comfortable. The goats are over there with her just a second ago. And mom's getting really, really close to her. See, taking a step, a couple of steps. Let's see if she's gonna squat down. There we go. No, nope. Mildred said, no, it's a little too close. And she'll settle in though. Christine, the lady we got her from, said that she was extremely tame. So I think it's just the adjustments of a new farm, riding in the trailer, new animals. So she'll get used to things. She'll get used to things. Come on, Moody. I'm come on. not. Come on, snuggle with Mildred. I'm not sleeping in the trailer. Come okay. on. I got a nice bed. <laughs> so this is gonna be Mildred's bedroom. Bedroom. <laughs> We're gonna put some old hay in there. Well, first we thought about making a cattle panel area. Yeah, we did. And kind of enclosing her in that and putting a tarp on the top, but right. I just don't think that'll work. I don't think it'll work either. This is already enclosed. Yep. So we have to worry about. That's right. Enclosing it and it'll keep her warmer. She's been out in the pasture with the other one, so I think she'll be fine, but we're just gonna be a little a little extra cautious. Well, I just don't want her to be scared and yeah. not want to go in where the other animals are because Peaches, you know Peaches probably ain't gonna share a bed with Peaches her. is probably gonna get in this trailer and tell Mildred she can have her bed. <laughs> what do you think? Probably so. Bear said that she can sleep with him on his little bed over here. Yeah, he told me that too. Oh, here comes Tucker. You know Tucker's coming. Roomba will be here in a minute. Roomba's probably already in here. more and we'll be done. Okay. Hey Tucker, go get your pitchfork, Tucker. Help us with this hay. Come on, get your pitchfork, Tucker. I want it to be thick so she can bed down in. That's what I would like. I would want my bed to be thick. Here comes Tucker. Hey Tucker! She's gonna think she in a five-star hotel. Ain't she though? Maybe she'll leave us five star ratings. I hope so. Clock Hill. Bed and breakfast. She's gonna have her bottle waiting on her in the morning. Yep. Gonna be the Airbnb. Yeah. That's nice and fluffy. Yes. Tucker, what do you think? I can't believe Tucker's not in there. Oh, she's jumping hay bales back here. <laughs> what do you think? Is Mildred gonna like her bed? Yeah. This is nice, isn't it? This is nice, Tuk Tuk. Yeah. We can all sleep out here with Mildred tonight. You can. You would join me, wouldn't you? Tuck or wood. I was talking about you. Oh, I would too. <laughs> hay and protect it and we'll see you in the morning with a bottle bright and early i might come out here before then yeah i'm sure we'll come out here and check on her tonight <laughs> several times okay baby i think she's fixing to lay down i think so too I, if we back off she'll lay down i know we'll check back on her when it gets dark and see what she's doing i hear moody he's steadily hollering from a over. distance <laughs> all right so it is dark now. We're gonna go check on little Mildred. See how she's doing. Let's see. Goats are still talking. That's something. Mm -hmm. Alright. 
big deal. She is asleep under the light. Hope she sleeps well tonight. <laughs>